Hey everyone, welcome back to Crisco Art. Today we're diving into a very exciting topic on how to improve your storytelling by being more efficient and saving time by using stock footage, templates, and other creators work. Which on a surface level, it kind of sounds like cheating or even worse, it sounds like the best way to dilute your content. But hear me out, with these tips, you're actually gonna see how you can leverage other people's work to really enhance your storytelling and your visuals. So first up, let's talk about templates. Now using templates doesn't mean that your content will feel less unique. Think of them as a starting framework that will actually get you to the starting point to tell your story or that idea visually a lot quicker. Simply because you're leveraging designs and animations that are pre-built and you can work on them as they are, you can customize them or even extract certain elements to really make them your own. Now you can make small tweaks within the template. I mean, you can obviously change the text, add your own images, stuff like that, but you can also really customize how that template looks. You can go into effects like the tint effect or even inverting certain elements in the template. And even with small changes like that, even by tweaking just the color, it can really help you inject your own style into the template. Now, when you're navigating templates, of course, they're all built differently they're built for most people in most cases so a lot of times templates are kind of overloaded with a bunch of different options and my main suggestion when you are first opening it is to kind of identify the elements and the components and how the template works and really see what you're going to need out of that and honestly delete the rest you can always download the template again or you can make a master copy but create a project file that is specific to the timeline or to the sequence that you are creating. And based on that, really identify what you need and quickly eliminate the rest. And that kind of helps declutter the template, which will make it a lot easier to work with. Now, let's talk about stock footage. Stock footage can be really great to fill in those gaps in your story visually, uh, whether you didn't have time to shoot on set or maybe they were unfeasible to shoot on set. And honestly, they can save you a lot of time and also a lot of production cost. You can use stock footage in a very obvious way to like establish a scene, for example, with maybe a drone shot or you know an opening skyline and stuff like that but honestly if you're lucky you can get as specific as finding for example a macro shot which was the best way to introduce this person in my documentary sir opifex which really added a subtle visual touch that also really enhanced the story and of course this is a very specific example but honestly, if you spend enough time browsing, you're gonna find little moments like that that can really enrich your edit. Now, another way to use stock footage, which is a little less obvious, is by extracting certain elements that are in that stock footage clip and using them into your own scene that you shot yourself. So I did this years ago with a mini short test that I did where I added bears into my scene. And of course, bears on set, not a good combination, really hard to get, really hard to shoot safely. And that goes for most animals or being a bunch of other case scenarios where maybe you need one little element that is added in your scene that might be impossible to get on the day. And that's what I did with this shot. For example, I just extracted the bears from this kind of Nat Geo looking footage and inserted it into a shot where it looks like I'm in the same place in the same location as these bears when really it all came from stock footage. So look at templates and stock footage as another form of collaboration. Just like you would hire a second unit to grab certain elements of your movie, stock footage and other elements can really shortcut that for you to really reach its full potential. That's why I'm excited to share with you the sponsor of this video. Motion Array has been such a game changer. Motion Array has everything you need to create stunning videos. With this insane library of unlimited royalty free stock assets, you can really take your projects and effects to a whole other level. I can just download as many templates as I want, modify them, and they all really feel like they've been built with a very similar quality control. So they're ensuring that their platform is honestly being populated with content that is at a certain level of quality and production value. And honestly, I just spend time sometimes just opening a tab, going to Motion Array, look at what templates are out there, and I find them really inspiring. You can really leverage all of these pre-made assets from a bunch of professionals. And seriously, this is how you stay ahead of the game as a freelancer, working with different clients and spicing up your edits for them in a time efficient way because time is money. And with a simple subscription, you can download every asset you need when you need it from video templates and stock footage to photos, royalty-free music, sound effects. Honestly, it is so amazing to have all of these elements to build your videos all in one place. 
And this kind of gives me creative peace of mind so that I can really test things out and have fun while trying different effects or different looks for my edit. And whether you have a project right now that you're working on or maybe you want to feel inspired for some new ideas, I highly encourage you to click the link in my description, even just to browse what Motion Array has to offer. And as you saw in last week's video, I did a whole intro talking about the balance with creatives and their work and their life. And all of that was 100% templates from Motion Array that I modified and I tweaked a little bit to really fit what I was trying to say in that intro. And in a very short amount of time, I was able to get a fully animated intro that would have probably taken me months to do myself from scratch. And it is the best platform out there for what we're talking about. So I'm saying nice things, not just because they're a sponsor, but because I actually use them and I really think they're gonna benefit your workflow a lot. And if you love it, as I'm sure you will, sign up today and unlock unlimited creativity. So please use my link in the description, support the channel and sign up for Motion Array today. And as we're reaching the end of this video, hopefully you are thinking of ways to use stock footage in creative ways. You saw that they can be used for establishing shots, for transitional elements, but also to extract certain elements and place them into footage that you shot yourself. So there's a lot of possibilities and it's really up to your creativity on what you will do with these tips. But honestly, they've helped me out a lot in my career. So I wanted to make this video to share with you how much you can leverage templates and stock footage. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this interesting. My name is Chris Chirini for Chris Carr, and I'll see you next time.